for assessment of how malignant a tumor is, that is, how likely it spreads to surrounding tissue or distant organs, pathologists take a thin slice of tissue and assess it under the microscope. Depending on the tumor type, we consider different microscopic criteria to determine the malignancy. One very relevant question is, how often are tumor cells dividing? Cells undergoing division are in the mitosis phase of the cell cycle, and the rate of the cell cycle is known to be one of the most predictive factors for tumor malignancy. However, since under the microscope we can't see how tissue develops over time, we can only assess how often we see cells in the mitosis phase. These are called mitotic figures. It is believed that the area of the tumor with the highest density of mitotic figures is best reflecting malignancy of the tumor. The magnification required to identify mitotic figures is really high. But we need to know the distribution over the complete tissue in order to find the region with the highest density. We believe that this is a truly challenging task for humans, but we wanted to find out how challenging. For this, however, we need to know each of those mitotic figures on the microscopy slide. This is something that's typically not available to us. Luckily, we just created a really big open dataset of a highly relevant dog tumor for which our pathologists spent months worth of annotation work. We wanted to know how well expert pathologists would score in identifying the region where most mitotic activity can be found. And since we already saw promising results in automatic identification of those cells, we also wanted to know how well a different deep learning based computerized approaches would perform on this task. If we now caught your interest in what we did and what came out of that, you can read all about our research in our recently published scientific reports paper. And just as a small spoiler, finding the mitotically most active region was indeed a very challenging task for humans. Thanks for watching.